your news team matters. It was chaos in the courtroom. A deputy shot, a jury traumatized, and a defendant dead in the courtroom. That was 10 years ago in Milwaukee County. Laron Ball tried to escape after the jury found him guilty. But tonight, we're hearing from the Milwaukee police officer who saved the day that day. Our Brett Boganski has the heroic story you'll see only on Fox 6. We're literally, all of us are fighting for our lives. It was a Wednesday morning in court 10 years ago where a Milwaukee police detective relied on training and instinct. I have to act now or we're going to end up losing this. Al Morale is now a lieutenant, takes us back to the time 20 year old Laurent Ball was on trial and found guilty of murder. There was screaming, there was yelling, and the chaotic events following his attempt to escape. I remember seeing his eyes as he's on the ledge of the window. I seen his eyes focus at uh, Wachowski's waist. Two sheriff deputies along with Morales struggled to restrain Ball who was 5'9 and about 140 pounds. On that day, Laurent Ball's willpower and mental state of mind was much stronger than three adult men that were bigger than him. Ball disarmed one of the deputies and shot one of them in the leg. Everybody was a target if Laurent Ball would have managed to get out of there. Morales said it was like an out-of-body experience as he pulled out his gun and fired two shots at the 20-year-old, but it wasn't over. It's like he wasn't hit he continued to fight. Morales' gun also jammed. At the time, deputies lost control of Ball, who this time had his hands full. He had two guns on him as he's now turning to face me. Morales cleared his gun, fired two more shots, this time in the head, which killed Ball in the courtroom. For a split second there, you're thinking, this is just a dream. It changed Morales' life forever, and today is constantly reminding officers why it's important to stay healthy and to take their police training seriously. That's what's going to determine how successful you are if you do come in contact with a situation like this. And since this incident took place, there have been changes to security in Milwaukee County courtrooms. High-risk defendants are now cuffed and shackled when a verdict is read, and deputies are given more protection in the courtroom. Ted and Ann. Well, because of that, thank you. Thank you, Brett. Hard to believe, but tomorrow, for record-keeping purposes,